EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Today it's week three and we've got a good one in store as it'll be the Tennessee Titans taking on the Houston Texans. It's the first weekend of autumn and the NFL is in full swing as off we go on EA Sports. Here comes Darius Phillips out of the end zone. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. For most people, the excitement of the kickoff return is to see a long one that goes back in the opposite direction. But for the guys covering it, it's being able to stop them deep in their own territory. How about that incredible form tackle right there? Shoulder in the ball carrier, and down he goes. down Levis and that's out to the flat for Swift and he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds well this defense for the Texans much improved from week one they were terrific last week in getting their guys their first win of the season and I'm eager to see the game plan and trying to attack them this week because when you take it away four times through interceptions what do you do now when you go into a game do you decide you can't throw the ball? Do you try and run it more? Or do you tell your quarterback, make sure you see your guys open before you deliver? So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 45-yard line. Levis sets up to throw here. Eluding the pressure right. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. You look at the defense for these Texans. They really played well in that win last week against Miami. And I'm eager to see the game plan and trying to attack them this week because when you take it away four times through interceptions, do you now decide that I can't throw the ball against this team and try and run it like crazy? Or do you challenge them? This is going to be fun. And now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. And the tech and nothing but green grass here. Middle of the field. Through the middle of the field. And they will bring this one back. Turn for a Texans touchdown. So the defense forces the fumble. They get the score. And a guy on defense becoming offensive there, Charles. And you know they love that. Any guy on defense loves to pick up the ball and have it in his hands and try and score himself. In this case, that's exactly what happened. He'll be singing in the shower post game. Fairbairn good with the extra point. And it's now a 7 0 game. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. Darius Phillips on the loose. And they are not going to catch him. He's in. Touchdown, Tennessee. Now Cade York for the extra point. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. to begin the drive and he can only manage to get a couple second and eight coming up 
They suspected it. It was a power play up the middle coming at them. And boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Here's Stroud. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. A pickup of 11 at a Texans first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Ready. A run for Pierce out of the gun. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. Another nice game, 13 yards that time and another first down. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times defenses say, okay, we got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. Drop 60, drop 60. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Let's one go downfield for Pierce. And got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Houston. Damian Pierce, his second touchdown on the season. And the Texans have taken the lead. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And that makes the score 14-7. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbear now to kick it away. Phillips now from the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. Early on, you know, Charles, every game could be called a measuring stick game, but I think when it comes within your division like this, it's a measuring stick game with a little extra injury. I would agree with that totally because all division games have a little extra to them. But I like where this game is situated because at this stage of the season, it has that little extra juice, but at the same time, it's not a make or break if this were, let's say, week 15, 16, somewhere in that neighborhood. Here's second and 10. 19, 19, 19. Levis escaping the pressure right. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. You look at the defense for these Texans. They really played well in that win last week against Miami. And all defensive teams that I know talk about creating turnovers. Takeaways, they call them. And anytime you can get two or more in a game, you've had a really, really good performance. They exceeded that number in a big way. Levis on third down. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. It's a big play there for Tennessee. 41 yards. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. Back to throw, it's Levis. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone, and there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Levis looking to move him around a bit. Quick throw into the hands of Pittman. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. 
They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. And now they'll audible to something else. Levis to throw once more. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans 21. A nice pick up there, 10 yards. Well, a lot of times when you get a manageable third down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end, and he comes through for him picking up the first down. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. Swift going to try at the middle. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. They go play action. Here's Levis. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old. 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they throw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. On third down, here comes Swift. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. Fourth down now after a loss of two. A great job there by this defense. They give up the long drive, but in the end, it looks like they'll force a field goal attempt. York able to send this one through. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out, looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Flushed out right. And Stroud wisely slides down safely after picking up the first down. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. This early in the game, it's all about making steady progress downfield, hoping to lead to early points. And you can do it with your actual play calls or sometimes something a little more improvised as we just saw there. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 48 yards rushing for him now. He's only carried the ball four times. Now to change things up, Stroud will throw it. And there he's caught. Touchdown, Texans. Curtis Samuel, 27 yards. And the Texans had six to their lead. Well, Charles, he's still a young signal caller in this league, second year in the NFL. And I don't know if last year as a rookie if he would have worked through his progressions like he did on that touchdown pass. I think you're right about that. We've seen him grow up right in front of our eyes because when he went to his primary read, he recognized that they were all over that. So he continued to survey the field, picked up another target, delivered a pass exactly where it needed to be. A very mature play for the second-year quarterback.
Fairbairn now to kick this one away. Phillips now from the end zone. Oh, a good looking return set up here. And they're going to have good starting field position. He's out of bounds, but not before he's across the 35. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. They'll look to make some inroads here, trailing 21 to 10 as they come up on a first and 10. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Christian Harris on the tackle. First and 10. Here's Levis. He's going to look deep for Watkins. And it's a Titans touchdown. Quez Watkins, 51 yards. And the Titans are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. Extra point by York is up and good. And it's now 21-17. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Come on, come on. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Well, this offense looks like they have a little extra pep in their step as they take the field here for drive number three, because remember, Charles, drives one and two both ended in the end zone. Yeah, and right now they've just got to be careful not to lean into overconfidence because every drive has a life of its own. But I like the way that they've started, the way that they're going about doing things right now. They've got a chance for that third consecutive touchdown, and that would be a crushing blow to the defense. Let's go now. Well, they had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. Throwing now is Stroud. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And they're able to get this one across the 35. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice game. First and 10, it's Pierce. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. The Texans are one and one through two games thus far. It's not a start that's going to set the world on fire, but they've been pretty solid nonetheless. And the first thing that crosses my mind is certainly beats the alternative of starting 0-2. I do think that this is a team that's going to take a little time to find its footing. Hard to navigate the always tough NFL. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. I know tight ends love this round because a lot of times they'll fake the block first and get a little bit of space and then come across the middle because in their mind, they're thinking catch the ball and then drop the hammer on the little guys in the secondary. Unable to drop the hammer, he just dropped the pass. Okay, ready? After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Go three. Stroud working out of the gun. And that is incomplete. Finally, this defense makes a stand. They'd given up touchdowns in their first two drives, but here they said, we've got to put a stop to that. Good coverage there to force a punting situation and a fourth down. On fourth down, Matt Ariza sent on to punt. Kevin Byer deep for Tennessee. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there 
Shannon Shepard. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. 43 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. Not only an explosive play, but an explosive run. I mean, broken tackles along the way to pick up that yardage. The way things kept churning for him, feet were moving, the legs were driving. Looks like someone who spent his offseason working on hill work, running through sand, all the things that you want to build up those leg muscles. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. And this is caught inside the five. Touchdown, Titans. Quez Watkins with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Titans have taken the lead. Extra point by York is up and good. And that gives him a three-point lead. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and ten. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll give him a short yardage situation here for second down. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we can talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that'll pull you out of that spot they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mousetrap. That's hard to do because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him. As he came to the line of scrimmage, he knew he didn't need much to reset the chain. So when he saw the space he needed, no hesitation. He went to the marker and got his guys a first down. Running it out of the gun with Pierce. And he's across the 45, it'll be second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Stroud to throw it. Swings this one out wide for Pierce. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. They get 14 on that one. Good for a Houston first down. Well, he was a busy man out of the backfield a week ago. They got the ball early and often. I have no doubt in my mind that he'll be a big part of the game plan here as well. well they get to Stroud. Nowhere to go, and he goes down. They'll wind up losing three there on the sack. Good pressure, and it's second down. But that's what they have to do more defensively, not just getting sacks. We have to keep getting in his face, not let him get his feet set and deliver. He's been carving them up previously. Yeah, already has a couple of touchdown passes. About time they put a few grass stains on that jersey. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 29-yard line. Pierce now up the middle. A nice little... Pierce has it knocked loose. Wow. That ball is not free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. I think that run gives us evidence that the defense is getting a little bit tired out there. They've been out in the field for a long time, and that last run, they just cut right through him. Back to throw. Here's Stroud. And he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. It's Jeffrey Simmons that time who got in to record the sack. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw up a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. 
So on fourth down, Texan kicker Kaimi Fairbairn comes on. Fairbairn able to put this one through, and that will tie us at 24 all. So as it turns out, that sack doesn't wind up prompting them, Charles. They at least get points in three of them. Yeah, that's where your kicker can really come to your rescue because you know after the sack, there was a little consternation there. Are we out of field goal range? Are we going to be able to get three? In this case, he stepped right up and gave them exactly what they needed. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. We have been treated to great offense on both sides. The defense is on the other end of the spectrum. They're just searching for answers right now, aren't they? And for most defenses, it's a very uncomfortable and in a lot of ways unfamiliar spot because points are going to be scored. But the way we're seeing them today, it's almost like there's no resistance. They've got to figure out how to slow these offenses down. Maybe someone on either side can make a big play and start to wreck and disrupt the timing that we're seeing. As we get closer to halftime here. First and 10, it's Levis. Wide open is Watkins. He's got him. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Another big play as they get 28 out of that one. Levis, he's going to audible to something else. Back to throw now on first down. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Let's go now. now a second and ten. Levis from the gun. Flush to his right. The flag comes in. It's incomplete. And I'm not sure he was still behind the line when he let that one go. Maybe worse than the loss of yardage. They also lose the down. So now it's third and long. They'll throw it again with Levis. And it is caught. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving that. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. On first and ten, it's Swift. And able to get him inside the five here, just inside the five to about the four. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. Second down, ball on the three. First down marker at the one-yard line. A pitch out to Swift here. And he will take this one in for a Titans touchdown. DeAndre Swift in the final seconds of the first half. And the Titans have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. Extra point by York is up and good. And they will take a seven-point lead. So not much time to work with here. Nine seconds remain in the half as this one is away. Here's Schwartz bringing it out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Ready, ready. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And only six seconds on the clock, so time likely for just one play. 
And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. Both these offenses have been in fine form. What will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three? And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. But Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Stroud's throw here taken in as he's able to find Goddard. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. On first down, here's Stroud. And he will find his man, Samuel. And he'll have it past midfield, almost to the 40, before being taken down. Stroud to the air on first and 10. Open man has got it, the tight end. Oh, he stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. Now Stroud. Now yeah, incomplete, it's Tank Dell. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. That's complete to Pierce. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed in the half, just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive could take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. This thrown quickly out to Cooper. So no gain on the play. And now we've got a third and three. All right, partner, I wasn't good enough to get this done, but I played with plenty of guys who did. When they spotted wide receiver screen and they got to the football fast and blew the whole thing up, the same result as we just saw usually happened. No gain. Here comes play number nine now as they come up on a third and three. Stroud looking to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Touchdown! Dallas got him from 10 yards out. And the Texans are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Fairbairn good with the extra point, and it will tie our game here in the third. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. Phillips now from the end zone. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33.
The Titans offense set to begin the drive. After that last touchdown we just saw, Charles, we got ourselves a brand new ball game all tied here in the third as they have their first possession of this second half. And Brandon, this drive is all about one word to me, and that's the word answer, because they're trying to answer the momentum. There he goes, right side. There he goes again, and he's going to be out of bounds inside the 25-yard line. A big play there on the catch and run, 45 yards. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. From the gun, here's Swift. Give him maybe a yard, quite the opposite from the previous big gainer. They're going to hurry back to the line now. And Levis going to change the play. Second and nine now. That is caught. Michael Pittman with it. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Sets him up nicely. First and goal. It was a pickup of 14. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taken them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up with a first and goal. Here's Swift. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Not liking the look. They'll change the play. One more time with Swift. Now he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. So backed up to the six now. Third and goal. Levis sets up the throw here. And it's intercepted at the goal line. And the Texans are going to get the football here at their own 23. CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it. And his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training so he's got to take this feedback that he's getting negative or otherwise and turn it into positives moving forward they'll start on the ground with pierce and he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there give him five on the carry there and it'll be second down well that was a thing to beauty right there look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped that was an o-line on a mission all in sync and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. And he works his way forward for a couple up past the 30. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instincts. Being able to diagnose run or pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed out hard there. He was ready for that running play. 19 life. Stroud now on third and two. Steps up here and down he goes. Jeffrey Simmons picks up his second sack of the afternoon. The Texans send the punter out as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Taken from just outside the 30. A 48 yard punt, seven on the return, and it'll be Titan football. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. In a close game like this, Charles, those interceptions like they had on the last drive could be costly, but here they've got another opportunity to seize control of this game. And they'd better take advantage of it because otherwise, if they end up losing by one score, they'll relive this over and over and over until they have another opportunity to wipe it away. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that. Well, that would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. Here's Levis. And he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. Josh Allen. Leading the surge there as he drops him for a loss of six. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Houston. 
all even as we get ready to start the fourth. The Titans on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and 16. Levis back to throw. DeAndre Hopkins making the catch. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Tie game, fourth quarter, and they're going for this thing on fourth down. They throw it out right complete. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A big pickup there, 20 yards as they convert on fourth. And right in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars, and he came through with a nice catch right there. Now a give, right side swift. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. 83 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Speed is the name of the game when it comes to RPOs, and sometimes you can be a little too quick, thus inaccurate, incomplete. Second and ten. Now a carry for Swift. He gets this down to the three, but no further. Brought the power right out of the bag and got a couple extra yards with it. And he will score. Touchdown, Titans. Malik Willis, a three-yard run as he kept it himself. And the Titans have broken our tie and have taken a fourth-quarter lead. Extra point by York is up and good. And they will take a seven-point lead. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. They now trail by seven after that last touchdown here in the fourth quarter. What a big spot for this offense. See if they can cobble something together on this drive. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. And they're going to speed things up here. Now here's Stroud on third down. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. First and 10, it's Stroud. Open man is Samuel, complete. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Stroud now on second down. It returns it right back to Samuel. Yeah, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield, and when they see openings, take their shots. Stroud now on first and ten. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. Pierce takes it straight ahead. 
and they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Stroud. Escaping the pressure right. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. It's been a nice day for him as a passer and as a runner. One of the few mistakes he's made in this ball game. The wrong choice on that one. That one goes incomplete. Second and ten. Stroud to throw yet again here. And this one nearly intercepted. Boy, that would have been a great time for their first pick. But instead, it's third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Stroud on third down now. Over the middle, that's caught by Schwartz. And he'll be brought down well short of the first at about the nine-yard line. Short completion, just four yards. And that'll bring up fourth down. 70 Ranger, 70 Ranger. Riggs, Riggs, Dragon 60, Buffalo 18, 18 Rattler, 18 Rattler. Fourth down, fourth quarter, here's Stroud. And it's incomplete, they cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Texans tried it, but they come up empty here on fourth. And this 11-play drive is going to lead to nothing on the scoreboard. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. Their defense forced the turnover on downs. They've got the lead. They're in good shape, but can't go into a shell here, right? Still got to be careful. Yeah, because they're still a long way away from kneel down time. So they've got to work on getting first downs, keep the sticks moving, right? Keep the clock going, and above all, ball security. Don't turn it over. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And not much here as he'll get it to the 11, maybe the 12-yard line. A tight game like this, such a tough spot for the offense to be in, even though they have the lead, Charles, back up so close to their goal line. they got to protect the football. And that's when you have to take care of your team with play calling as well. Not a lot of misdirection, not a lot of counters, not a lot of plays where you have extra ball handling. Get it right to the hands of your running back, tell him to take care of the ball, and try to move forward. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to suck the life right out of this crowd. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines. And down the numbers. There he goes. He's on his way, DeAndre Swift. And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. The York on now for the extra point. And the lead is up to 14. Makes the score, Titans 45, Texans 31. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. They'll come up first and ten here. Hey, Smash! Mustang 19! Stroud to throw it. They've got his man complete. And he will step out of bounds here inside the 30. <laughs> well, this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been revved up from the start. 
And here's yet another big play. Boy, go, both defense have just got to be dragging out there Mike because they've been run ragged inside. throughout. Stroud. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Amani Hooker. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. And that pick six, that was the first turnover forced by the defense in this ballgame, CD. And what's even better is when they finally forced one, they kept the effort up and were able to return it for a score. They could hear their defensive coaches saying to them, hey, getting the interception's great. Can you do more with it? Turn it into a big play. And they did exactly that. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. This is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't, because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out where the game was really lost. But this is not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. We'll see what they do here. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. One final shot for C.J. Stroud. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And that is going to officially draw the curtain on this one as the last throw intercepted. Picked off by Marquise Bell. And the Titans are going to get it back here just shy of the 20. Uh, Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can?